welcome again at Matros channel. Last time it was the smallest tent in our offer, a uh, low conical tent. And today we will show you how to pitch one of the biggest tents from our offer. It's 6 meters wide umbrella type tent. We are just here two people right now on this grassland, uh, but that's enough to pitch such a tent. So come along with us. behind us. Uh, it was quite easy. Uh, those three long ropes are so-called storm ropes. They are very helpful in speeding up uh, of any historical pavilion. Uh, if you secure just three of them in triangle uh, position, the pole will be standing and you will be able, uh, now even if you are alone, uh, you are, will be able to secure all other ropes. So now, for the next step. The roof is standing, uh, spokes are on its places, uh, all the ropes are secured already. Uh, maybe they're not perfect, they will need some adjustment, but, uh, but they will work. Today we already set up four tents, as you can see uh, behind us, uh, so it was quite tiring. I'm going to grab some water and then go back to work. So we have it, almost, almost done. Walls are hanging, now we just need to secure them into the ground. Uh, few hints when you pitch up such a tent. First of all, use the storm ropes, as you could see, they are very helpful. Second, the roof can twist a bit. So, always watch out, so the rope line must go straight with the seam the roof seam. Uh, the main rope goes straight as the roof seam. This way uh, the tent will have the proper, proper shape. And hint for the walls. As the, now they are hanging uh, free, so when they will be, when we start to secure them into the ground, don't push with all the force. Because at the beginning you can stretch it, stretch it easily, yeah? You will stretch it at one side, but there will be no space for the other side. So, you must have some experience, stretch it just a bit, secure all of them, check if it's okay. If not, 
you uh, you just repo reposition the the peg and the wall will be in the proper shape as in the other tents uh, this camera is not very wide so you don't see I will show you uh, in, in, a, in a few moments I will show you uh, the full panorama so you could see the other tents uh, and this way with when you will be securing the, the wall uh, it will be easier for you and there will be no situation done that one side is sloped like this and the other side is flat because you pushed too much from the one side I hope I, I was able to explain it with my poor English as good as possible those small um, those small pieces of wood they are not for the decoration but the purpose of those so-called tensioners I will show you uh, with a close-up okay so now I go finish up the tent. we set up already four tents uh, the one is in fact hidden so it was quite busy day but I hope that you can see uh, the shape of the walls and understood what I was saying about the stretching of, uh, of those walls. Okay, now I will go back and finish the job. So it's done, the walls are secured, as you can see the tent has nice sloped walls. I hope that you were able to see it uh, on film that we are secured the walls step by step, not stretching uh, all the time, not stretching with full force, but just a little bit and if the wall has still some room for stretching then we reposition it, uh, we were changing the place of, of the pegs. It's about this little piece of wood, it's so called tensioner, it helps you to shorten the, the rope or make it uh, longer, but mostly it's uh, useful when you shorten the rope. You need to remember that when uh, the rope uh, can have different lengths depending if it's wet or dry. Uh, after rain the ropes will be stretched because they are getting shorter and after they will dry out uh, they can be a little loose uh, that's why uh, you can tension them with this little piece of wood of course you can always reposition the peg yeah but this is helpful if you don't want to take out the, the pegs out of the ground you can do it with uh, tensioner. They are not necessary, but that's that's an extra. Some of our customers likes them. Very simple, simply in use. Uh, you just secure the rope with this little piece of wood, and you have such a length. Yeah, you make them secure it in different position, and the rope is in standard length. So practically the tent behind me is equipped with all the extras available. It's made of impregnated cotton, uh, it has tensioners, if it has uh, metal pegs and it has storm rope that is really really helpful and also good for security during uh, strong winds. Okay, I think that will be all for today. It was quite a tiring day for us because we need to pitch five big tent but it was always also fun as always for us so 
till the next time and see you on Mazel's channel.